Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody, let's take a look at the gold market. Um, the gold market uh, price tends a bit overextended to the upside and uh, currently it's really tricky moment because uh, gold market stands overbought on weekly and daily chart. But at the same time, uh, the manner uh, in which market has hit the targets, so I mean uh, our 1450 target and has been passed actually without any response. So the consumer market has passed through it as it now exists and moves higher right to the 15 even area. Uh, currently market also stands at the 1618 extension of the weekly butterfly. And uh, from that standpoint, it seems that retracement should fall. But at the same time, the, the, the momentum to the upside looks really strong. And by this momentum, market could move slightly higher because the major extensions right now stands in an area between the 1540, 1540, 1585 area. So if you will read our weekly report, you will see that there we have some extensions on the weekly chart, major monthly extensions, and we do not exclude the chance that market could proceed slightly higher just by this moment. Or maybe retracement will happen right now, but it will be not uh, too significant and uh, hardly it will be visible on the weekly chart. But on a daily, we could get a minor pullback. In general, if we'll take a look at the fundamental background on the gold market, it stands bullish. In the longer term, um, as we see the dovish policy uh, from the uh, central banks, we see the, a negative uh, return on the bonds. The tariffs that have been initiated uh, by the United States starts to work, and uh, recent statistics in China shows that this really has some problem with the, as with the employment, as with uh, domestic uh, corporate debt, so with the loans, domestic loans, so the overall situation become, uh, become worse. And uh, as we, that, all this stuff in general confirms uh, thoughts that we announced approximately a year ago and we talked about the tariffs, we talked about the uh, starting of the bull trend due to the shifts in the global policy and economy. And now uh, this scenario starts to realize. So in the long term, uh, the problems in the Chinese economy also will be a supportive factor and support demand for the safe haven assets. At the same time, in the shorter term, uh, beyond the technicals that we have just mentioned, uh, we also have the overextended positions of the market investors. So we'll take a look at the recent CFTC report and you will see that uh, net speculative long position almost has reached the all-time highs on the gold market. And the combination of the technical overbought with the overextension of the speculative position create the healthy background for a possible tactical retracement. It means that although we still think that market could climb slightly higher, we also will keep an eye on the current level as well, because although maybe probability is not too high, but chances still exist that market could turn to the retracement right from this area as well. So what we have on the daily? In the beginning of the next week, we will keep an eye on the two moments. First of all, uh, we know that price stands at the 1618 extension on the weekly butterfly. On the daily chart, we have another target that stands at the 1515 area. This is XOP, this ABC bottom passion that has not been quite reached. On Friday, we talked about this passion from this low, ABC bottom, this one XOP that has been hit. But taking into consideration the habits of the coal market that's really cunning, uh, we know that it likes to show some washing rinses, some trips, uh, and uh, pitfalls, so we do not exclude the chances that market could just show, could, could show some spike up to hit the XOP and then could start the retracement down. If retracement will start, uh, we are mostly interested with the daily results. So market stands at the very as well, 
but on particular on this chart, very interesting with the aversal area. That could let us to suggest the possible floor of the retracement. And currently, it seems that market could reach an area around 1440, 1460 levels. That also will be the daily aversal. That's the potential target of the retracement if it will start. If we'll take a look at the follow time frame chart, on Friday as well, we talked about the double repo pattern. And on Friday, it has been confirmed. So because we have thrust up, close below the 3 by 3 close above it, and close below again. That was the confirmation of the double repo. So. But with this double repo, I do not uh, like some moments. Uh, first of all is the untouched XOP on the daily, but also the shape that this pattern takes. So here, when the second top of the double repo has been formed, um, market hasn't shown any last effort to break through this top and to continue move higher. So it seems that this action uh, is not the upside continuation, so how traders could trade it. So traders just watching for a pullback, trying to buy here and push market through the stops. But it mostly reminds the retracement of this action. It's too weak and silent. When, when we trade the double repo, we would like to see on the second top is a capitulation of the bulls. When they have tried to push market for the previous top, but has failed and market collapsed. And here, we mostly could identify kind of the consolidation. So that that is what I do not like uh, with this double repo pattern. Well, sometimes the double repo takes particularly this shape and, and they works nice. So we could say that here is 50-50 probability that this will work. But uh, I prefer to see the second top above the first one, kind of the washing rings. And I would like to see the thrusting action on the second top and then fast return. That confirms uh, the, the double repo much better than just sideways consolidation. Here, actually, you could recognize the triangle consolidation. All this stuff makes me think that we still could get some spike up. I'm not excluded. I'm not sure that this will definitely will be by that, because I said that uh, this double repo could work as it stands here. But still, we should be ready for this possible last effort to hit the daily XOP and also grab the stops of those who already have taken the position. That's why uh, I would say that if you would like to trade it short, it would be better either to wait for the spike up or uh, if you do not want to wait, you could place your stops above this area. So, for example, also what we could do, for example, we could uh, take some part of the regular position here. So, for example, 50% of our uh, common lot for trading and see what will happen. So if there will be some spike here, we could add more at this point and then take the part in the final reversal. So uh, this is a bit tricky moment around this double repo patch just because of the extent, existence of the untouched XOP. If we would suggest that XOP already has been hit, uh, the chance on this light last spi spike up uh, was, uh, would be significantly uh, smaller. But in the current situation, this risk exists. Uh, in general, it will not, it, it doesn't cancel the idea of the double repo pattern because the reaction probably will follow. But this is some minor trap that gold market is preparing right now for the traders. And we should uh, take it into consideration because this could be an important moment for short-term trading. So um, that's what we will see on the market. And uh, as soon as the retracement will be over, the market will show this reaction here or maybe will not show the reaction. We will take the next step. So. We'll be watching for a hitting of the major targets on the monthly chart. Uh, but uh, in general, it seems that it's not really a long time till the retracement uh, should start because uh, this market stands are extended as fundamentally and as technically. It seems that retracement stands somewhere around the corner. So uh, let's uh, keep an eye on the overall situation that we have here. And... Uh, be ready that uh, retracement could start even from this level. I'm not sure, and chance chance really not really uh, significant, but chances exist. And uh, if it will be some too strong downward action that doesn't correspond to idea of the minor reaction that we intend to see on the coming week, it could mean particularly that uh, retracement starts right from here. So that's our view on the gold market right now.